Good morning. It's June the 8th, 2017. We'll kick off with our disclaimer. Hypothetical simulated performance results have certain limitations, unlike an actual performance record. Simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since the trades have not been executed, the results may have been overcompensated for the impact of any of certain market factors, such as lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs in general are also subject to the fact that they are designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. Well, today's the big news day. The first one would be the ECB. And I see we've already had a 40-tick whipsaw. Um, Draghi's statements and forward guidance were expected to be dovish. Given the forward inflation forecast, uh, which... Um, 1.5% down from their forecast of 1.7. And then it starts to build all the way back up to 1.7 by 2019. That's less than the 2% that they desire. So uh, they were looking for a dovish statement. And we had a whipsaw. Uh, market was higher and lower off of that. So um, perhaps there was a contradiction like there usually is. Um, uh, say one thing, then say another. Um, so we'll see what that is. We'll have to dig into that. Uh, we also have Comey's testimony. He's released his um, uh, formal statement in a seven-page document that was given to everybody yesterday. There is no obstruction, no interference. He's not claiming such. I will not testify that fact. But through the questioning period, he will be pushed to implicate uh, Trump in some nefarious, underhanded um, program, and the press will run with that. So I don't look for anything positive to come out of this, uh, even though that um, Comey's already said that Trump didn't do anything. That will be um, conveniently overlooked by our press. And then we have the British elections, which will come last. Um, so we'll probably start. I don't know how they report their elections uh, if we get um, starting about noon our time, 1 o'clock our time, we might get uh, exit polling uh, results from them. Uh, and I don't know how long it takes for those results to come in. So, uh, But the, ele the election in May is expected to prevail. So we'll see. So this one, this one's already impacted the market. Comey will subject us maybe to news algos. I don't see what the news algos would trigger off of other than you know, a statement would come out that Trump is this or Trump is that. Or I believe that Trump is this or Trump is that. He'll, he's a lawyer. He'll cover his tracks. I, but I have no idea. Uh, the bottom line is there is no obstruction. But like I said, that won't be reported. And then the elections. Um, if May does not prevail, uh, that will impact currency markets, gold, uh, sovereign debt around the world. So we'll see what happens. Uh, we will be exposed to news algos today. Okay, the um, E-mini looks like it's going to try to trade higher this morning. Uh, we'll probably go for stops above 24.35. Treasuries are uh, pointed lower. Today we'll have the 3 to 30 year uh, announcements. The when issued market, once that announcements are made, that's the cash market. Most institutions are not allowed to trade futures, but they can trade cash. And so as soon as this announcement is made, the when issued market will open up at the primary dealers. And this is where the primary dealers start to ascertain where the hard bids are for the paper. Uh, that'll start um, being auctioned next Tuesday, next Tuesday through Thursday. So right now everything is pointed lower, looking for a test of maybe stops below 08. So we'll make our first buy 5 to 9, 29 to 01, buy 2, sell 1, 15 to 19, 23, 27 for sell 2. Today's news, jobless claims, 241, quarterly service survey. Uh, last was um, plus seven tenths. 
I uh, don't know what it'll be today. No one will pay any attention to it. I don't think anybody's going to pay any attention to the jobless claims either. And then natural gas storage plus 99B. That's not billion. That's BCF. So uh, imagine Comey after the uh, euro settles down and its impact is uh, absorbed by all the markets. The focus will shift to Comey. You know, if you if you think back in the old days of the Roman Empire, the bread and circus um, stories and analogies and what actually did happen to them, if you look at our welfare payments, and then if you look at the news media today, I mean, how far are we off from the old bread and circus? We have this hysterical, never-ending, grab-your-attention news feed that goes on 24-7. And uh, for those people that um, follow that kind of stuff, I mean, your, your entertainment's already built in. And then you have welfare payment from the floor to the ceiling to um, everybody out there. And if you include Social Security and Medicare, which we have paid for, which I don't see as a welfare payment, but on pay in actuality it really is, um, then a lot of people have their hands out getting fed by the government. Okay, looking at the 30-year, 28 uh, the buck, number one, buying 21s to 25s, buy one, and then 9 to 13, buy two. The E-mini breaks out today and goes. It will not be good for treasuries. Uh, resistance, we have this spill from 12, so 12 to 16, number one, 19, 23, sell one, 27, 31, sell two. Okay, one of the things going on the announcement, it's easier to sell and move the paper with a higher interest rate. And usually on a Thursday or Friday, certainly on Fridays, the uh, dealer community starts to sell futures contracts, which they will buy back to support the auctions next week. So we usually, the bias is to the downside in treasuries on the day on the Thursday and Friday of the week they make the announcement. That is a little nuance that most people don't appreciate or realize. But again, it's always easier to sell a um, move the paper with a higher interest rate than it is with a lower without major news and there's no major news on tap except for what will be manufactured over the uh, Comey testimony today. Now, <clears throat> on to gold. This morning when I looked at it, it was the same. Hadn't changed from yesterday's close. It's off um, maybe about four bucks. I saw it at 12.87, so we're down two dollars from that. So, first buy 83.85. Second buy 79.81. On the uh, sell side, 89.91, sell one, 94.96, sell two. We still haven't gotten the stops above 1,300. I do think that is the play. But sure, it is happening happening as fast as I'd like it to happen. Or other people that are long gold. Harry Dent said that um, it's interesting that. Um, Gold. The bottom's getting ready to fall out of the gold market. Uh, Mr. Dent probably sees uh, deflation coming in a big way if he's making that kind of forecast, not inflation. And really, since 2008, what the central banks have been fighting has been deflation, not inflation. They've been rather successful at driving up the cost of everything except for Social Security payments. Okay, here's the announcement. So, um, a my guess is that the uh, statement was um, pretty 
dovish, meaning that they'll continue the programs, but that's a guess. I don't know that for sure. So we'll have to come in and see. So uh, it has been a sell at 113 and a buy at 112. It looks like maybe 112 might come out. So we'll put our first buy and a play for stops below 112. Buy one. Put a question mark at 25, which is where we are right now. Then 1175 by two. On the uh, sell side, um, 40 to 50. And 65 to 75 for sell two. See, ECB removes reference to taking rates lower, but keeps well past language. So that's the headline. We'll have to go in and take a look at that here, which I will do as soon as we get done with this. This is the <coughs> the hard news. of the day. Then the British elections will be hard news. And then the Comey testimony will be spun news to paint Trump in as bad a light as they can. Okay, 35 is resistance, so 34, 36, sell 1. And uh, if we get back, we break through that, stops above 40 would be sell too. I don't see we have the stuff to break it out today, but the other day when we took out 17 and we traded up, I didn't think we had the stuff either. So the bias is to the upside. Um, we'll put our 26, 28 out there again. Then 20, 22 for buy two. And we'll see what happens. Can trade from the short side. More comfortable getting long on breaks because the market's long and I don't see anybody dumping their length. And they don't have to add to it daily. They're already long. And then that's what keeps the volatility so darn low on this. There is no selling to speak of. Everybody's already long. They don't have to buy. Um, so, and let's see, um, take a look at crude, which I skipped. How did I do that? Okay, um, now, I just, just again, in go with markets, the safest place to have a limit sell or buy is against these high volume numbers. And you can see right here that London, um, you're able to fill that. Uh, the news for crude oil is bad. I put an article up yesterday and the article was written about <clears throat> new technologies coming on, ultrasound, uh, microwaves uh, put into the uh, structure and then turned on. And they say it coaxes or it sets up, makes the structure amenable to steam injection or heat to move the heavier, uh, heavier um, crude oils uh, and which in Canada <laughs> is even uh, uh, thicker than asphalt. So, and the same as in places of California. So, in California, it's tar. In Canada, it's the oil sands. Uh, but uh, they said that technology will open up, and these are shallow wells for the most part. So, the, the well drilling is pretty cheap. Uh, that will open up something like three trillion barrels of crude oil more in reserve. So uh, the more you look, the more you find. 
and everybody has gold in their backyard it just isn't economic to mine it yet in your backyard but if the price were right it would be you got to remember that so crude is headed lower got to move out of the middle right here in v period 4603 so 75 to 46 sell one 46 and a quarter 4650 sell two uh, structurally 4675 is a better number than 50 picking up this area right here that will be retested at some point so let's keep in mind limit cells at uh, 46 73 74 more in there on the buy side stops below 45 so we'll play 45 45 and a quarter for buy one and then 44 50 44 75 for buy two but um, crude oil is getting hit pretty darn hard these days Okay, it's going to take a bit to get stuff up and posted. I will get busy with that. I will be back with you as soon as possible.